sharing your Gmail contacts using shared groups is simple. I have created a new account to show you how this works. In the contacts of this account, there are different contact groups containing a bunch of contacts. Log into the Shared Groups application to share these groups with another Gmail or Google Apps account. When logging in for the first time, you'll have to grant access to your contacts. This enables the Shared Groups app to sync the contacts between different accounts. You can share existing groups or create new shared groups. Click on the Select button and select the groups that you want to share. I've shared two of my existing contact groups and I will create another new group to be shared. Enter the name of the new group and click on the red Create button. The new group will immediately appear in your Gmail contacts. I've not shared the groups with another account yet, so I'm still the only member of the shared groups. Select the groups that you want to share and add new members by either entering their email address or selecting them from your Gmail contacts. This allows you to add members to multiple groups at once. Select the desired permissions for the new members. The permissions for each member can be changed at any time. After adding new members, you can send them a notification email. You can send out notifications at any time by clicking on the Notify button. The new member has been added to the selected groups and received a notification email about the new share. The yellow icon indicates that the new member is invited but has not yet accepted the share. Let's switch to the account of the invited user. The notification email has already arrived. The notification email contains a link to the Shared Groups application. If the new member logs into the Shared Groups application for the first time, he will also have to grant access to the contacts data. This has to be done only once. After logging in, the new member will be prompted to accept the Shared Groups. Click on the red subscribe button to accept the share. When accepting the share, the yellow icons will turn green to indicate that the new member is now a subscriber of the shared groups. The icons will also turn green in the account of the user who shared the groups. Let's now have a look at the Gmail contacts of the new member. The groups have already been created, but no contacts are in there yet. It takes a while until the contacts show up, depending on the configuration of the application. Click on the Administration tab for details. A timer indicates when the new sync run will start. After the sync is complete, you will find the same contacts in both accounts. That's it! All members of the shared groups can now simply work on the contacts in Gmail. Depending on their permission settings, they can edit or add new contacts by simply adding them to the shared groups. Thanks for watching!